I've worked at an amazing haunted house called Scarevania for about seven years now, acting and doing makeup. Hey look, it's me. <laughs> I've learned so much along the way, and now I've decided to share a few things with you. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a button eye prosthetic. Ah! I used this for a doll costume last year in the haunt, and it was super creepy, and nobody thought I was real. It's pretty easy to make, so I'm going to show you how. Now, let's get to what you will need. A large button, big enough to fit over your eye, and this will be the inside, that will be the outside. A scrap of cloth, any kind will work, as long as it's light. Liquid latex. Toilet paper, baby powder, super glue, makeup, various colors, but especially red and blue and a couple flesh pale colors. A makeup brush, scissors, masking tape, a flat smooth surface that is non-porous. Okay, after you have all your supplies, it's time to get cracking. Let's do this. Now get your flat surface. I chose to use this binder so you get a look at happy dolphins while we do this. Um, it's just, it's nice, it's a smooth surface, um, it's easy to move around, and it's, nothing really sticks to it too bad, so it's very good. Okay. So first what you want to do is get your piece of scrap cloth, um, something thin and is the best. Um, I just found this in my closet. I don't know what it's from. It doesn't matter. Okay, so basically get a... I mean your eye is not very big so you don't really need a huge piece but I kind of do a little bigger than needed because I kind of cut the eye to size later. Okay, so I have this piece for now. It's just a little triangle it doesn't have to be it can be whatever okay and so you want to get your button which um, you need one that's big enough to fit over your eyeball okay in the middle of your piece cut a small hole because I'm gonna try to be able to use the buttons I'm gonna see out of them that's why I want the hole in the middle but um, if you, like I did a costume with this before, and I didn't, I just had, I was blind in one eye, and that worked, but I want to do two for this costume. And see, it goes over just like that. Okay, and so what you're going to do now is take glue, I use super glue, just because it's easy, and just put it on, well, Put it on around on your cloth enough so quickly so it doesn't stick to your binder or whatever you're using your surface and you want the inside to be on that end let me get Now that your button is glued to the cloth, it should look like this. Uh, probably cleaner than mine because I definitely got it stuck to my binder. <laughs> um, I forgot last time I didn't use cloth like this, so if it has holes in it, be more careful because I definitely wasn't. Okay, so take your baby powder, baby powder, um, and just sprinkle it all over your surface so it's nice and smooth. Spread it all around. Okay. Now you want to take your button and put it down. Uh, yeah, that's the right side. Okay, make sure that you're working with the outside pointing up. I'm going to tape over the buttonholes because I want to use this um, to actually see through. So I'm just using masking tape uh, to push through. Make sure that super glue that doesn't get on there. Now that our button is taped, we're going to start building. So all you need to do 
is get liquid latex. Um, this I just got at a costume shop for about $5. Um, it's really nice, just comes in a thing. It comes with a brush, uh, just like that. And just toilet paper is what we're going to use. Um, I really like to get the crappiest toilet paper. So cheap toilet paper actually works a lot better because it's thin and it's just easy to layer with latex. So what you're gonna do first is take your latex and just go around the sides and this is just how you just want a layer first and remember that your eye isn't that big so it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to go out that far. Take your toilet paper and just tear off little pieces and put it on here and kind of bunch it up so it makes texture. My hands are sticky so this is where the baby powder comes in. And now you are just going to repeat the process. Okay, so that is the final product before it's dried. Um, I used two sheets of toilet paper, um, and I actually didn't count how many layers of latex, but, um, but yeah, so that's what it should look like. Um, and then once it dries, um, and you put makeup on it and apply it, it'll look pretty cool. So I have another one um, that I did earlier. Uh, this one though was a lot different because it, uh, was just with latex. Um, I had different latex that, uh, got kind of ruined and it turned kind of globby and doughy. So I ended up, um, trying to use that, but it didn't really work. Um, so this one's just pure latex. So this one's going to dry, um, uh, a little wider than this one because this is just pure latex um and honestly if you can get a flesh tone of latex it um works even better i think uh but anyway so i'm going to put makeup on this now uh because it's dry so now what i'm going to do is get some makeup uh, this makeup, it's stick makeup, it's from Marone, it's a really good makeup company. Um, I use it for all my stuff for, uh, all my special effects makeup. So I'm just going to take a triangle sponge and put some on here. Uh, this is a little dark, but, uh, I just want a base coat at the moment to kind of take the shine away. Now I'm going to take this kind of white color, which is almost gone, but it'll work. I'm going to pat over it. So the bottom layer and this layer 
kind of makes more of a flesh tone together instead of just the stark kind of pale pinkish white. Now what I'm going to do is take uh, some red cream makeup. This kind of isn't the best you can get. Um, I do have a palette uh, that's actual like Barnum & Bailey Circus clown makeup, which actually works the best for this type of thing. Um, but I'm going to use this red because this is what I had. So um, I use this a lot, so obviously <laughs> a lot of it's really gone. And yes, I know um, this should be cleaned, but... <laughs> I haven't gotten around to it. So I have my red on here, and I'm going to take my blue that's here. And I have this brush. This is just like a Crayola craft brush from Walmart. They work just as well as the professional kind. Um, so I'm going to mix up some blue with the red to kind of give it a darker look because the red's kind of bright, so it's not going to look very good. So I like this kind of purpley bruised color. Okay, so I'm going to take our prosthetic and kind of dab it with this color. because you want this to look as if it's been kind of shoved in your eye. So, I'm going to kind of speckle the whole thing with this. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some actual stage blood. It's just corn syrup blood, so if you want, you could make it yourself. Um, but I just had this in a makeup kit, so I'm going to use some of this. This will keep it kind of shiny, uh, but it will be sticky, so just be aware of that. Um, and I'm just going to kind of put it around the edge a little bit. I'm going to go back and add some more blue, kind of purple. Um, I added a little more blue, and I'm just going to kind of mix it into my already red color here. Just because I don't really like how this looks right now. So I kind of wanted to give it this scabby kind of look. So it's just gross and... Um, also, I think it's really best just to, whenever it's on your face, to really decide how you really want it to be, so. So yeah, that uh, right there is pretty much what it's going to be. Um, like I said, whenever it's on your face, I think that's the best way to kind of decide the coloring for it because um, my old one this is one <laughs> I used for a long time um, and it doesn't have a hole on the other side because I only use one eye um, so this is uh, what this looked like and it's kind of gross and I think this one will be better because it'll blend into my face better so but this one worked for a while too so there we go, that is uh, an eye prosthetic, and I hope that it works for you.